Hello everybody and welcome to Davis Auto Sports here in Richmond, Virginia. My name is Ted Lambert and I'm going to be showing you this 2006 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon that was just fully lifted, modified and serviced here in the shop. This video is being shot in HD so please be sure you select the HD option view this entire video. There will actually probably be about two or three of these videos on this one Jeep alone. So please be sure you watch each video in their entirety. There's gonna be a ton of information about this Jeep in the videos. Again, 2006 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon. is a six-speed manual transmission. It's a 4.0 liter inline six cylinder, four wheel drive. You have your locking uh, axles in the Rubicons here. This Jeep is in beautiful condition inside and out undercarriage is in immaculate shape they only made these unlimiteds in 2004 2005 and 2006 the two-door unlimiteds they only made the rubicons with a six-speed transmission in 05 and 06 so this is a rare jeep to begin with this jeep came to us completely stock not one modification was done to it. We did every single upgrade and modification on this Jeep. It's hard to find these vehicles that haven't been molested, haven't been off-roaded. It's a great color. This tan goes great with all the black on it. It's called light khaki metallic. We'll start up here at the front. You have a brand new Smitty Build XRC winch bumper with the bull nose with the stinger bar. It's your textured finish. It goes great with the flares that we Kevlar, which we'll get to that later. You have your heavy duty quick disconnect D rings, and they're on the front and the back. You have a brand new Warren. Warren's top of the line when it comes to these winches. This is the VR8 electric winch with remote here on your bull bar we have brand new ARB brand these are IPF fog lights with 100 watt fog light bulbs uh, these are run directly into your factory switch so no additional uh, switches inside ran directly to your factory factory switch all of your connections are soldered they're heat shrunk, as you can see. The lines are wire loom, professionally ran. They're hidden, they're out the way. They look great. What we do with a lot of our Jeeps that we lift and modify, these front lenses, we take them off, we scuff them. <clears throat> then we mix a little bit of black and some clear coat. We spray it on, gives it a nice tinted look. Also removed the factory headlights. We installed these blacked out LED headlights. They look awesome. Very, very bright. And they are DOT approved as well. We also, these chrome headlight bezels, we take those out, we scuff them, and they blacken those out. Just kind of ties the look all together. A big chrome ring right there around your headlights would not go with the theme of this Jeep. What we routinely do when we detail our, our vehicles in general is we do a full paint correction service. And what that is is about a two to three day detail. Uh, we start out by spot sanding the entire vehicle, trying to remove as many imperfections and scratches in the top layer of that clear coat as we possibly can. So we use about a 2000 or 2500 grit sandpaper. We'll wet sand those. And then we'll go around and completely uh, wet sand the entire vehicle using about a 3,000 grit wet sand or 3,000 grit sandpaper we'll wet sand the entire vehicle gives it a nice smooth finish to work with and then we use 3M products and they're top of the line products uh, stage one is the compound will buff the vehicle then stage two and three are polishes and ultra fine polishes which really brings out that deep shine of the paint gives it a wet look 
Also removes any swirl marks in the paint left over by the stage one compound. Like I said, it's about a two to three day detail on the paint alone. But as you can see, I'm shining this directly in the sunlight. You can see the nice metallic flake, super smooth finish. I mean, it feels like glass. If you go look at other vehicles, just feel the paint. I mean, you're not gonna feel one speck of anything on this paint. As I mentioned a second ago, uh, these Kevlar spray that we use on the flares, <clears throat> excuse me. A lot of your flares, if you're looking at other Jeeps, a lot of these flares are chalky, they're faded. They're almost gray looking. Does not look good at all, especially if you add new stuff on the vehicle and you leave the flares the way they are. So what we do is we re re remove these flares off the vehicle. We scuff them down. So we sand them completely down so there's no oils or anything left in them. Then we surface prep them and then we mix this uh, solution hook it up to our air hose and we spray it on it's not that easy as well uh, over time we've gotten really good at it a lot of these uh, spray on materials these Kevlar sprays they can get really kind of gloopy or glumpy as you can see a nice even spray all the way around a lot of times you have different textures and different consistencies but like I said, we've been doing this for years now. It comes out looking amazing. It's a nice rugged look, doesn't fade. Front and rear flares and the uh, license plate bracket have been sprayed. Over here on the side, you have brand new heavy duty rocker guards with your step bar. Wheels and tires look amazing on this Jeep. These are brand new to 2017. These are the uh, American Racing. They are the AX202s, 17 by nine with a negative 12 offset. They look awesome. Awesome, awesome wheel. Really goes with this Jeep. The all black looks amazing with this light khaki color. Nitto. Yeah, your trail grappler, mud terrains, awesome tire, proven tire, 315, 70 by 17, about a 35 inch tire there. Body's in great shape of this Jeep all the way around. There's no damage to speak of. You may have a dent or a ding in one of your panels, but I don't see them looking down this section of the body you have your full hard doors which are fully removable your factory hard top that's very rare to have an unlimited with the factory hard top especially in this dark khaki color we'll get to more of that later mirror housings are very very clean this isn't armor all or any kind of shine uh, when we're buffing the vehicles we just add some compound to that use the, the uh, machine buffer and it really brings out the shine of those mirror housings you do have a couple scratches here or there throughout the vehicle that have been professionally touched up it's really hard to see and I don't know if you can see those or not couple little rock chips there a couple little scratches like that but really had to be up on the vehicle to really see them and like I said they've been professionally touched up tires are brand new that's just the uh, remnants of the sticker they were computer mounted and balanced before they were put on this vehicle couple scratches back here we removed um, this gap filler housing scuffed that down and then sprayed that with some flat black it was kind of doing what the flares are doing a little faded kind of getting almost grayish color another thing that I wanted to bring up 
and this is one of those things where we can't go back so we wanted to offer that to the customer before we did it as an option because like i said we can't go back from this uh we thought it would be an awesome idea to match the flares with the actual hard top uh, you can kevlar the hard top it would be black and textured just like these flares we thought that would look awesome it would really go with the jeep but like i said this hard top is rare to begin with in these lj's and then it being the dark khaki is even more rare and the dark khaki does go with the jeep as well kind of gives it that safari look so if you're the winning bidder or you're the person that purchases this jeep just keep that in mind we can kevlar that for you the entire hard top take it off scuff it tape everything up and then spray it it would give it some good contrast but also like i said this tan looks amazing as well so we'll leave that up to you if you buy this jeep here on the back like i said your license plate bracket has this kevlar as well but i had the tag on there because we're going to go for a test drive matching fifth wheel and tire your rear bumper you have your quick disconnect d-rings you do have your tow hitch you also have wires for if you're going to tow a trailer there are wires up in there as well so no additional wiring would need to be done take out your pin pop that up 